What's up, everybody? I'm Ethan Lee, also known as Watch a Syndicate. On the first this week, we got paid $32.15 from AT&T, ticker symbol T, and also $3.43 from JP Morgan Chase & Co., ticker symbol JPM. The reinvestments of the AT&T stock actually gave us more than an entire share, so next time, there's going to be a little bit more, and that's what I love about dividend reinvestments. I also put $100 paying off some city debt this week, and also $30 paying off Discover debt. On the magic side of things, I got another sealed pack of 10 Reliquary Towers from last year's buy, uh, Bring a Friend promotion. I now have two of these, so in total I have 20 sealed, what, 20 foil Reliquary Towers in two sealed packs. My friend didn't really want this and they found it somewhere in their collection. They were like, hey, I owe you a little bit of money, so here's this. It's worth about $20, so... Not too great, not too bad. We also got another box of Commander Legends, which cost me $110, which I paid using store credit. Therefore, it was not included in the weekly magic cost at the end. I got some more cards from my general collection. Some of these were picked up using store credit, some of these were bought using money, and a large amount of them was used to get on Card Sphere, which I added more money last week on. So a good chunk of them, I only paid about 50 to 60% of their actual price. From New Phyrexia, I got one Viral Drake, one Despise, one Caress of Phyrexia, one Mental Misstep, and one Corrosive Gale. From Battle for Zendikar, one Foil Launch Promo Blight Herder, one Foil Pre-Release Promo Orin Reef Hydra, one Trine of the Forsaken Gods, one Sylvan Scrying, two Zulaport Cutthroats, and one Dragon Master Outcast. From Oath of the Gatewatch, one Reflector Mage. From Kaladesh, one Ceremonious Rejection. From Aether Revolt, one Tezzeret Semulacrum, one Invigorated Rampage, one Dawn Feather Eagle, one Defiant Salvager, one Filigree Crawler, one High Spire Infusion, two Implements of Combustion, two Implements of improv Improvement, two Lathnu Sailbacks, one Prey Upon, one Reservoir Walker, one Scrounging Bandar, yeah. One Shipwreck Moray, one Shock, two Unbridled Growth, two Verdant Automatons, one Welder Automaton, one Foil Wrangle, one Regular Wrangle, one Trophy Mage, and one Narnum Renegade. From War of the Spark, one Foil Tyrant Scorn, one Quatley's Raptor, one Lazotep Reaver, and one Mana Geode. From Ikoria Lair of Behemoths, one Promo Pack Mythos of Netheroi, one Foil Promo Pack Genesis Ultimatum, one Will of the All Hunter, one Proud Wild Bonder, one Adaptive Shimmerer, one Prickly Marmoset, one Promo Pack Ruinous Ultimatum, one Tranquil Quove, one Showcase Hunt Master Liger, one Offspring's Revenge, one Loot Tree the Spell Chaser, one Foil Skycat Sovereign, one Frond Land Felidar, one Foil Pre Release Brokos Apex of Forever, one Foil Lava Brink Venturer, one Colossification, and one Sea Dasher Octopus. From Strixhaven, School of Mages, one Foil Promo Pack The Biblioplex, one Promo Pack Rip Apart, and one Foil Promo Pack Fracture. The total for magic spending this week was $63.05. And with that being said, that's everything for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not that late, so feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts, and don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified when it was posted. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at wf.ethatly, where I post art every sometimes. This is Ethan, over and out.